Welcome to Whoops in the Dungeon. We're going to do um, do a little bit more on two-handed whips today, and I'm going to talk a little bit more in depth about a match set and um, and this particular match set that I have. Uh, this is a match set of four football whips made by Peter Jack. And Peter is currently in his 46th year of plaiting. He started plaiting when he was 15 years old, and he's been plaiting for 46 years. I know he has current plans to plat into his 47th year, and I've already placed an order for number 47. Starting in his 44th year of plaiting, uh, when I put in my yearly order with him for whips, I would ask him to plat the number, uh, well, we started with 44, to plat that number into the handle pattern of the whip. So I have whips that are platted 44, 45, and my 46 order is supposedly in the mail. I'll be doing an unboxing here, hopefully in a week or two. Uh, but just to talk briefly about this match set, Peter didn't make this match set as a custom set for me. I acquired this from a friend in upstate New York and the whips were made for him. And I'll say the standard handle on a four foot bull whip is a six inch handle for most whip makers. Uh, in my custom made whips, I've asked, always asked for a nine inch handle. For whatever reason with the way I throw and my Ford figure eight, with a six inch handle, I end up catching the ear on the backhand side quite a bit. And I decided I kind of like this ear, I want to keep it. So when you see me throw two handed with these six inch handles, you're going to see me wear a hat a lot uh, because otherwise I'm clipping this ear. Now next year in 47, I'm going to ask Peter to make me a match set and we're going to make that set with nine inch handles. And I'm convinced that will resolve that problem. The other thing I will say about this set uh, is these are 12 plat whips done in a single color. Um, my personal preference is two color because it just shows off the plaiting so much better than a single color. Single color will be a little bit less expensive when you order single color from any whip maker. Um, the other thing that I've noticed about the 12 plat is all my other whips that I've ever ordered have been 16 plat. And having thrown 16 plat for 20 years and now picking up a pair of 12 plat, I can tell you uh, they're both accurate whips, but I can tell the articulation and the rollout is a little bit better in a 16 plat than is in a 12 plat. And I'm sure these are going to improve because I'm still in the process of of breaking them in uh, and if you've watched the videos with me throwing two-handed you probably can go back to some of those older videos and see just from comparing those videos with what I just did that these whips are getting better as they break in but I do like 16 plat over uh, 12 plat I will say um, as as I get deeper into uh, Peter Jack's work. He's been doing a lot of 20 and 24 plat in the last few years, and I do enjoy his 20 and 24 plat whips. Uh, I'll be doing some other videos this morning to show you some different whips and talk about different whip makers. So as always, thanks for watching Whips in the Dungeon. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and leave a comment in the comment section. And we hope you have a marvelous day.